Hello, this is Lori Kasuba, Community Manager for RacrobetUsers.com. Welcome to our second on-demand seminar developed for the AEC community by members of the AEC community. This month's topic focuses on ensuring your PDF is accessible. And while we're working on this month's topic, we thought it'd be worthwhile to provide you some information on how to create accessible documents, but also to highlight the additional benefits of tagging a PDF. Things like reflow on mobile devices and search engine optimization. We've got a great group of experts lined up to provide you just this information. And first up, you'll hear from Duff Johnson on why creating accessible documents is so important and some common misconceptions. And then I'll go ahead and let Duff introduce the rest of the group. Duff, over to you. Thanks, Lori. My name is Duff Johnson. I'm the CEO of Applegent Document Solutions, the first company in the world to offer Section 508 compliance services for PDF files. I also chair the U.S. Committee for PDF UA, which stands for Universal Accessibility. PDF UA is the forthcoming international standard for accessible PDF. If you're watching this webinar, you're probably interested in creating accessible documents. Achieving universal accessibility in electronic content is a major objective for many organizations, and it's the right thing to do as well. For many, PDF, accessible PDF is not only a good idea, it's also the law. Millions of people are blind or otherwise physically impaired and need structured content in order to read. Others want consistent, reliable results when extracting text, or larger type that makes reading easier. Government agencies are increasingly requiring that documents be accessible to all users. For example, U.S. federal agencies and contractors must comply with Section 508, which requires accessible websites and PDF files. In other cases, lawsuits have compelled a variety of companies to improve the accessibility of the content they place online. Online retailers, banks, insurance companies, and other businesses have discovered that they can improve services to their customers by ensuring that their electronic content is accessible. Today's content managers are increasingly aware that large portions of their websites consist of PDF files. Every organization wants better search engine optimization, and ensuring your PDFs are accessible can help Google and other search engines locate content for users. There are a number of common misperceptions about PDF accessibility. Chief among them is the idea that making tagged PDF is difficult. It's not, but ensuring PDF files are accessible is a lot easier if you create your documents with accessibility in mind. Today, we're going to hear from some other experts, each of whom will cover different aspects of PDF accessibility. First, Lori Kasuba will demonstrate how to create accessible documents from Microsoft Word using Adobe Acrobat 10. Thanks, Steph. As Steph mentioned, an accessible document is not just for screen readers. It's beneficial for other purposes as well, such as those documents that are read on mobile devices using page reflow, or documents that are posted to the web and need to be optimized for searching. It's also beneficial for documents in which you plan to repurpose the content to improve things like copy and pasting or exporting your PDF to an Excel file. To create an accessible document, you first need to tag your file. And the best place to start the tagging process is when you begin authoring a document. So I'll start by showing how easy it is to create an accessible document from a file in Word. I'm using version 2010. A couple things to point out. I've used styles and headings to define the content. Simply using blank lines to separate the paragraphs will create issues with your file. I've also added alt text to my images. The tables in this document are only used for data and not as a layout tool. And finally, I've made sure that the document properties panel has been filled out. Next, I'm going to use the PDF Maker macro in Word to convert this file to PDF. You can also use the Save as Adobe PDF command, but be sure not to use the Adobe PDF printer because this won't add any tags to the file. Make sure that the checkbox for Enable Accessibility and Reflow with Tag Adobe PDF is checked. Also, you want to make sure that bookmarks are selected for all your headings.
Using the PDF Maker macro to create your PDF, it's going to tag the document and also not tag certain information like headers and footers, which should be artifacts and you don't want to be read by screen reading devices. Once your document has been converted to PDF, you'll still need to set a few more things in Acrobat. First, make sure the language option under the Advanced Properties tab has been set. 